Did you know the lack of acknowledgement of drowsy driving? How many of you heard of fatigue driving? Drowsiness factors apply to 21% of car collisions in Canada. Yet there are so many drivers that still drive while drowsy. The risk of falling asleep behind the wheel is always there and it is so crucial that it's something you must take seriously as a driver or a potential one. Two things that can lead to incidents related to drowsy driving include slower reaction time and losing focus. But how does that affect us as students? That fatigue and drowsiness have to do with our teen's behavior and habits on a daily basis. We get that school can be stressful, but first, taking all-nighters to complete schoolwork and driving the next day is not safe at all. Get enough sleep for both your health and to stay safe when driving. Also, simply consider your physical and mental condition every day and avoid car incidents by not driving. Try taking public transit such as buses and trains or ask a trustworthy peer to drive you if you feel that you're impaired and should not be driving. But let's get real, there may be times where you may need to drive even if you are tired. Pull over if you can, drink a caffeinated beverage, and take a 20 minute nap. It's important to remember that caffeine only gives you a temporary boost, so be sure to get a good rest as soon as you reach your destination. When on major highways such as the 401 and unable to stop, look out for signs showing establishments nearby, like an en route location, malls, restaurants, or a motel to stay the night. If you know that you'd be tired the next day when you are driving, try to get enough sleep ahead of time. And in general, stay physically and mentally healthy. Finally, until we have zero driving incidents, we must try our very best to prevent them in all the ways that we can. We hope that our advice helped. Stay safe, everyone.